Josh Kelly, well away for the 26 and all fight for the Commonwealth title. Um, follow the sport icons. Right, if, if you haven't seen it yet, go check out the previous video for the final rankings for 2018 as far as heavyweight. On this one, I thought we'd do welterweight and we'll just do a top 10. Of course, I'll give some honourable mentions for some very good fighters there or thereabouts, not far off the pace. And in the early part of 2019, we should see a bit of a difference all going well. Um, but as for some honourable mentions, Josh Kelly finishes 2018 as a top 25, he finishes on number 25. He was supposed to fight David Avanesian um, a couple of weeks back, but Josh Kelly got flu and um, he had to pull out on the day of the fight. But these guys will be um, rescheduling their fight, David Avanesian, number 20. So things should change once these guys have their fight as well. Um, you've also got Thomas Delorme. Um, after his last fight, he had a draw with Jesse Vargas. And... Um, purely because he dropped Jesse Vargas um, in the closing stage of their fight. So, of course, um, he got a draw um, and he finished at number 18. Adrian Granados just outside the top 15 at number 16. And But in at number 15 is Andre Berto. And we'll have to wait and see what 2019 brings for him. Uh, you've got um, Jordanes Ugas. Um, number 13, Saddam Ali returns to the welterweight division after losing his WBO Super welterweight title to Heyman Guia. So he's now returned to the welterweight division and is in at number 12 after his win this past weekend. And number 11, Jesse Vargas. So he just missed out because he had a draw um, last time out with Delorme. So he didn't quite make the top 10 for finishing 2018. So number 10, Kerman Lejara. He is a Spanish fighter, 27 and 0, with 22 of those by knockout, I believe. So he could well be a star of 2019, making a big assault. I fully expect him to get a world title shot real, real soon. And number nine, Adrian Broner. I'm a little bit perplexed on this one, as he's not a welterweight, but he will be fighting at welterweight against Manny Pacquiao coming up um, not so far away. So it's interesting how they put him straight in, as he, at his last two fights, he's had a draw and a loss. So quite wise in number nine. I don't get it, to be honest. But anyway, it is what it is. And number eight, a guy who I've never seen fight, but he's 21 and 0 with 17 by, by knockout from Lithuania. Um, his name is quite difficult. Uh, Egidas Kavalaskas. As I said, 21 and 0, 17 by knockout. So again, fully expect him to get a world title shot real soon, as well as number seven, Amir Khan. After his little comeback, after a good couple of years out, he's had a good couple of wins and he's in at number seven. Uh, potentially, he could be fighting Terence Crawford or uh, Kel Brook soon as well. So we'll have to wait and see what happens. Number six, Lamont Peterson. I think last time he fought, didn't he fight Errol Spence Jr.? And uh, lost that one, but he does have a fight coming up with Sergei Lipinets um, in March. So that'll be a very interesting one, that's for sure. Danny Garcia finishes 2018 as number four. Five. Um, he didn't really have a great 2018. Well, he's all right. I mean, 2017, obviously, he lost his title to Keith Thurman. He did come back after almost a year out, took on Brandon Rios and beat him in nine rounds and then lost by unanimous decision to Sean Porter for the vacant WBC title. But he does have a fight coming up with Adrian Granados um, in April. So this could potentially get him back into world title contention. So Danny Garcia finishes 2018 at number five. Number four, the WBC welterweight champion, Sean Porter. And number three, Errol Spence Jr. Now, I thought that he, he may well be number one or number two, but not quite. He, did, he hasn't done enough. I think a lot of that is inactivity, to be fair. So he is at number three. Number two, the WBA regular world champion, Manny Pacquiao. Of course, he has that fight with Adrian Broner coming up soon, as I said. So he is at number two, which again is quite surprising to me, really. Although he does have a very good resume, but inactivity does cost you a lot of points. And since he's lost to Jeff Horn in the middle of 2018, he's only had one fight, which is one year later, back in July against Lucas Matisse, when he stopped him in seven rounds. Very dominant performance, but obviously a win over Adrian Broner in about three weeks' time. That will change a lot of things, maybe potentially even um, solidify his number two, especially if he wins, especially if he does it by stoppage as well. That'd be amazing. But Terence Crawford, by a landslide, 
he can actually afford to lose about two or three fights, but he's still going to be number one. Um, he's that far ahead on the points that him even losing to an Errol Spence Jr. or a Sean Porter, um, if that was to happen, wouldn't really affect his position. He's that far ahead. Obviously, former undisputed champion from 140 pounds and at 147, obviously win over Jeff Horn. Um, has uh, got him that title and of course since then he beat Jose Benavidez Jr. by a 12th round stoppage so yeah um, Terence Crawford by landslide number one of course you may question well, why is it that Keith Thurman is not on there well that's because inactivity if you've been out of the ring for over a year you're not ranked so when he comes back against um, Yosito Lopez um, very very soon if he was to win that one, which you would fully expect him to retain his Super WBA World to Weight World Championship, he would then be elevated way back in. And I would imagine he'd probably slot in at number two. But we'll have to wait and see. So these are the rankings. Number one, Terence Crawford. Number two, Manny Pacquiao. Three, Errol Spence Jr. Four, Sean Porter. Five, Danny Garcia. Six, Lamont Peterson. Seven, Amir Khan. Eight, the Lithuanian. Ed Judas. Kavalaskas. Uh, number nine, Adrian Broner, for whatever reason. And number 10, Kerman Lejarga. Drop your thoughts below. Click that thumbs up. And of course, subscribe. Catch you all on the next video.